In this video, we'll see how to use Zephy for online raffle ticket sales. So as a, as a start here, we'll see how a ticketing form looks like on Zephy. So here's one. On the right side, you can obviously put as much content as you need. So for example, dates and locations, um, a picture or video, and also some content right here. Now, if you look at the left side, this is where you can list all your different ticket rates. So here there's four, for example, and each of them correspond to a different set of ticket bundle. So let's go and buy um, a ticket. So for example, here, let's say I wanna buy just one chance of winning. I would choose that here. I can also add a donation on top of that for the nonprofit if I wanna support them more. So maybe I wanna give them, I don't know, maybe an additional $5. I would put that right here. And by clicking donate, I'll be redirected to the fields that I have to fill out as a buyer. So I'll be ask, asked for my email, first and last name, country and state, um, it's mandatory, but then obviously you can also add other, um, other questions such as the address and for example, extra questions here um, that you can customize to. Then right there, the buyer has the option to support Zephy if they want to. So there is a suggestion that is made here, which they can obviously change to any other percentage, or they can simply click other and put any amount of their choice or simply just zero if they don't feel like contributing to Zephy. On average, we have about 60% of people who leave a contribution for the platform. And among those people, their average contribution is actually a 5%. Then once this is done, people can choose uh, a different payment method. So that could be credit or debit cards, Apple Pay and Google Pay, and also ACH if you are in the US. Now I'm gonna switch to the backend of Zephy so to show you how that works on a nonprofit's perspective. What you see now is a Zephy's dashboard. This is where you can manage all your forms, transactions, and contacts. If you go to the fundraising section under my payments, you can see the list of all the transactions you received through Zephy. Now, if you want to filter those transactions in terms of a specific form, you can choose between all the forms you created here by entering the name of your form. You can select it and you'll see all the transactions that went through this specific form. All this data can be exported in Excel sheets if you need to. Let's see how those reports work. So this is how the um, export looks like, actually. So you would have basically the list of all the money uh, that you collected, the numbers of all the tickets individually, and the list of all the people who bought those tickets. So if you want to use uh, this report here to find out who the winner is, for example, that would totally work. Uh, Zephy can be used for online ticket sales for raffles, but we don't have a winner drawing tool, actually. So if you want to draw the winner, you could either do a physical draw by using you know, this, um, this report here, seeing all the ticket numbers and printing tickets depending on all those numbers and names. And you could also use an online random number generator to pick a winner. So Google, Google for example, has one. Um, depending on your state's regulations and laws, you might just want to check if it's okay to sell uh, tickets online with Zephy. Uh, if it's not okay to sell online tickets, you can still create a raffle ticket form with Zephy without issuing any ticket, but simply just receiving the payments. So that way you don't, you won't be sending tickets to your, um, to your buyers, but you will still have the list of all the transactions that you received and you can print the tickets yourselves. We are back in the dashboard and we'll see how you can create your raffle ticket sale form actually. So from the fundraising section, you can go and click new form. From here, you can choose the raffle option. The first thing you might want to do here is change the title of your form to make it match with the name of your raffle. You can also choose the language, either French or English if you are in Canada, or English or Spanish if you are in the US. Once you get to the advanced settings, you'll be able to switch the language to have both versions of your form available. You can add a description to explain um, how the raffle is going to be conducted, for example, so it's going to be visible for the buyer. You can also choose a date and time for the raffle also. If you hit next, you'll be able to customize the different raffle ticket options. First of all, you can actually choose to limit the number of tickets available for sale, and you can start creating your first uh, ticketing options. So you can have a uh, ticket that's called, for example, one chance of winning with a price. You can also add a description here to explain what is included in this ticket. In the options, you can actually choose to limit the number of tickets available at this rate, you can also set a minimum and maximum number of tickets that someone can buy in the same transaction. And you can also generate a tax receipt. So maybe you want to generate a tax receipt for a portion of the price. So you can choose that amount in here. 
you can uh, make it a ticket bundle. So if you want to have, for example, a uh, bundle that is, you know, five uh, chances of winning, you would be able to choose that option and specify the amount of tickets included in the bundle right here. If you want to make it an early bird sale, you can also activate this option and choose a date until which the early bird is going to be available. If you want to add other ticketing options, you can simply add a ticket here. You can also give the option for your uh, buyer to add a donation for your nonprofit on top of buying a ticket. And you can add some questions, either a question for the buyer or a question per ticket. The question for the buyer is going to be asked for the whole transaction, no matter what type of ticket is chosen. And the question per ticket is going to be asked for every single ticket that is bought. And also you can um, choose to have the question asked for a specific type of ticket. Once this is done, you can hit next and you'll be able to customize the look of your form. So you can, for example, add your logo, change the colors, add a banner, either with an image or a video. And you can configure the thank you email that is going to be sent to your buyer right away after the transaction is made. You can also choose to generate e-tickets by uh, activating this option right there. Then you can basically create your form and you'll be able to share it with your buyers. So the easiest way to do it would be to use the URL link. You can also uh, use the iframe, which is a piece of code here. You can embed it as a pop-up with two pieces of codes to use in that case. And you can use the QR codes if you have flyers or posters. So that way people can scan the code with their phone and they can make a payment from the uh, form right away. In the advanced settings, you'll be able to add a sales target if you want to show a um, campaign thermometer that will show how much you raised compared to a goal that you set. You can suggest payments by check for bigger amounts. You can add discount codes, and you can also translate the form in the second language. I hope this video was helpful. Um, so I hope that you'll be able also to create your raffle uh, on Zephy, and I wish you a lot of success with your fundraising. Thank you for listening.